Hello, welcome back to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. I'm Connie and I'm one of your Dixie Bell brand ambassadors. In the video today, I'm gonna to make over this mirror that I found in a charity shop and it's actually plastic. It's a really cheap, inexpensive plastic mirror, but it's got really nice carved detail on, which I am a little bit of a sucker for. So I'm gonna to attempt to make this look a little bit more expensive and a lot more colorful. As always, the first thing I'm gonna do is give this a good clean, just in case there's anything on the surface that is gonna affect any adhesion with my paint. So in my spray bottle, I've got a mixture of Dixie Bell's White Lightning Cleaner and water, and I'll just spritz that on my piece and give it a good old rub with a microfiber cloth. Once I've cleaned it, I then rinse my cloth out with clean warm water and just rinse any cleaning residue off the surface. So you remember me saying at the start of the video, this mirror frame is plastic. So the magic ingredient that you are gonna wanna use if you are painting plastic, glass, uh, metal, anything that's really slippery and shiny is Dixie Bell's primer called Slick Stick. So this is an adhesion primer. It's a water-based product, which means it cleans up really easy. It comes in one color, which is white. I'm applying it with a synthetic brush here and you are gonna to wanna to do two coats of Slick Stick and leave the second coat to dry for 24 hours before you apply your paint. So what I'm hoping to do with the mirror frame is create a little bit of three-dimensional kind of look. So the first color that I'm using is Galaxy and this is from the Terra Clay paint range and I'm just gonna paint the mirror frame all over. You can see how well it's covering even over the, over the white primer. So I only did one coat of this because it just covered really well. I'm just making sure that I get in all of that raised three-dimensional detail so that there aren't any little white bits peeking through. I'm not using any water for this. I'm just putting it straight on as it is. And as you can see, the coverage is pretty amazing. Once that first color had completely dried, I then wanted to create some highlights with a lighter blue. So I'm using Cerulean Blue. Again, it's from the clay paint range. I'm using the Bell Brush, which is a really soft brush, which has a sort of domed end. And I've put a little bit of paint onto my brush and I'm taking the excess off on a paper towel and just really feathering over the three dimensional areas with that brush and this is a technique called dry brushing and what you're going to do is just basically put the smallest amount of paint on those higher points which is going to create some three-dimensional kind of look now you can use any color you don't have to use a two-tone kind of color like this obviously I've used two blues because that's the color scheme that I'm using generally speaking you would use a lighter color to highlight the raised areas and then the darker color would sit in the recesses this technique is buildable as well, so if you did really want that prominent colour to stand out on the raised areas, just keep going over the top of it and that'll build the coverage up. I mentioned I'm using Terra Clay paint and that paint does require sealing, otherwise it remains really porous. So I am using Terra Tough on this project which is the toughest top coat for Terra, and I'm applying it really, really lightly with a synthetic brush. This was also part of a live that I did on Dixie Bell's YouTube channel, which you can go back and watch the replay if you wanted a little bit more information on Terra Tough. Once that had dried, I then used Dixie Bell's Black Glaze, which has been reformulated, and it's a super smooth, creamy texture. And this is just gonna push those recessed areas back even further. Glaze is super easy to use. You just paint it on, and then before it's dried, just wipe the excess off. So again, that is just gonna push all those details further back and create dimension. Once the glaze had completely dried, I cleaned up the glass area with a sharp blade. And here's a couple of close-ups and the finished shot. If you're interested in any of the products that I have mentioned in the video today, please check out your local Dixie Bell retailer. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. <laughs> 